Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain uh, the model question paper uh, pattern uh, for the fourth semester BE degree examination. The subject name called Engineering Statistics and Linear Algebra, and the subject code is 18 EC44. I am just uh, going to discuss uh, the question paper pattern of uh, this subject. So, in module one, they are going to ask uh, question number one as uh, PDF probability density function of for the random variable set uh, for the continuous uh, function they have given. So, you can consider this, and then you require to find out uh, the mean, mean of the square, and uh, the variance of the random variable. You require to find mean that is uh, z bar. And uh, you require to find uh, the mean of uh, square, and you require to find out uh, sigma square of that variable called z. Moving on to question number B, they have given the set of data. Using the set of data, you should plot a PDF and uh, the CDF. PDF is nothing but probability density function. CDF is nothing but cumulative distributive function. You you require to plot the PDF and uh, the CDF of the discrete random variable x. Next one is. Write expression for uh, PDF and uh, CDF using unit delta function and unit step function. Using uh, unit delta function and uh, unit step function, you require to require to write the expressions of uh, PDF and CDF. So moving on to question number one C, you require to define uh, the exponential random variable and uh, require to obtain the characteristic function of an exponential random variable and using uh, the characteristic function derive its mean and variance. So Out of these three, this uh, question number one A will be a uh, compulsory part for you, and another problem will be on uh, CDF and PDF will be there compulsory. So moving on to optional question. So there is a chance of asking uh, expectation of x, expectation of x square, expectation of y. So uh, the problems on expectation. So uh, here they have given uh, question number two A as uh, given that expectation of x and expectation of x square. Find the uh, sigma. As Sigma x, you require to find out standard deviation of x. Given regression line, you require to find uh, the mean and uh, variance of y. From the given line, you require to find the mean and variance of y. So next, uh, moving on to question number B, define Poisson uh, random variable. Obtain the characteristic function of the, of a Poisson random variable. And then find mean and uh, variance using characteristic function. So all these problems are very simple here. Uh, when you compare with uh, real uh, mathematics, so you can easily answer these uh, problems of uh, probability. So when I move on to question number two, see the random variable x is uniformly distributed between zero uh, to four. Uh, the random variable y is obtained from x using the expression y equal to x minus two uh, the whole square. Uh, what are all the PDF and uh, CDF for y you require to find out. So that carries six marks. Sir. Moving on to module two, uh, the problem is on uh, joint probability. Uh, the joint probability uh, density function f x y is equal to constant, a constant when uh, x lies between zero and three, and uh, y lies between zero and four, and is zero otherwise. So then you require to find out the following uh, content. You require to find the value of uh, c here. First, uh, to find the value of C, construct the table first. Then, uh, from the table, you know that uh, J I J is equal to one. Using that formula, you can find out the value of what are the PDFs for x and y. What is f x y when uh, x lies between zero and three and uh, y lies between zero and four? What are uh, f x uh, from zero uh, to infinity and uh, f x y uh, from infinity to y? Or x and y are Independent required to find the following content here. Then define correlation coefficient of the random variable x and y. Show that uh, it is bounded by limits uh, plus or minus one. So moving on to question number C. Uh, x is random variable with uh, mu x and uh, sigma x given. Y is a random variable with uh, mu y and uh, sigma y given. The correlation coefficient is point uh, seven. Then if uh, u is a line called three uh, x plus two y, what are Variance of u and covariance of ux and uh, covariance of uy. You require to find out by using the set of data. You require, require to find uh, variance of u, uh, covariance of ux, covariance of uy. Moving on to optional question. Uh, the pro here x is a random variable uniformly distributed uh, between zero and three. Y is a random variable independent of x uniformly distributed between two and minus two. Uh, w equal to x plus y. 
what is the uh, probability density function for w so for finding this uh, w uh, it carries uh, eight marks see the problems weightage uh, is more here so very simple problems you can score easily next uh, question uh, the random variable z is uniformly distributed between 0 and 1 the random variable y is obtained uh, from uh, z so yeah right uh, the problems on random variable you require to find out uh, is uh, the probability of uh, b less than or equal to 7.1 if uh, thousand times capital n is uh, given a thousand independent uh, calculation of v are performed approximately how many of these calculated values for v would be less than 7.1 so this is the way of asking the problem uh, finally moving on to question number c they have to explain briefly the following random variables called uh, chi square random variable and a student t distribution random variable so you required to explain chi square random variable and a student t distribution for explanation carries four marks so in module 3 i will stress on question number 5b this problem is a bit important concentrate on a problem of this type so there will be a compulsory question of this type continuation of probability with the help of an example you are required to define a random process and discuss and discuss distribution and density function of a random process just a basic definition they have asked with an example you should explain define the autocorrelation function of a random process and discuss its properties you should you are required to discuss all the properties with the definition along with the definition you are required to discuss the properties of uh, acf join uh, again this problem is also one of the important problem jointly wide uh, sense uh, stationary random process given by x of t is equal to a cos omega 1 t plus uh, theta 1 and uh, y of t equal to b cos omega t uh, plus theta 2 if uh, w t is given by this value x of t into y of t uh, then find ACF uh, uh, R W tau. So moving on to next question. Uh, from the given uh, uh, set of uh, data here, that is a table, you are required to estimate uh, ACF uh, for tau, tau for uh, zero, two ms, and uh, four ms, where delta t is equal to two ms. So this carries six marks. Suppose uh, that PSD input uh, to a linear system is S x of uh, omega equal to k the cross correlation of the input x of t with the output y of t of a linear uh, uh, system uh, is found to be r x y tau equal to k times of e power minus tau plus 3 times of e power minus 2 tau tau greater than uh, uh, or equal to 0 uh, yeah, elsewhere it is 0 what is the power filter function modulus of h of j w whole square that carries 8 marks module 4 is the very easiest uh, module uh, describe uh, the column space and null space uh, for the following uh, given 2 cross 2 matrices one is uh, 2 cross 2 and another one is uh, 2 cross 3 matrices using uh, these two matrix you require to find out uh, column space and uh, null space of the given matrices determine uh, the vectors uh, 1 3 2 2 1 3 3 2 1 are linearly dependent or independent so given uh, a vector space uh, you require to find out uh, whether it is dependent or independent moving on to option uh, if uh, u v w are defined uh, then show that uh, u v w are uh, pairwise orthogonal vectors find the lengths of u v w and find orthonormal uh, uh, vectors u1 v1 uh, w1 from vectors u v w so this carries uh, a huge weightage called uh, 10 marks here uh, a very simple problem first show that uvw are orthogonal vectors then find uh, the lengths of uvw and uh, find the orthonormal vectors of uh, u1 uh, v1 w1 from the given vectors called uvw apply gram smith uh, process uh, to a b c and uh, write the result in the form a equal to qr i think uh, you feel easy to solve this can easily solve this problem find the di dimension and basis for for four fundamental uh, subspaces for the given matrix of uh, 3 cross 4 the next question is uh, find the projection of b onto the column space of a so given matrix uh, a and uh, b is uh, column matrix so you require to find out uh, the projection of b onto the column uh, space of a onto the column space of a so that carries uh, four marks as it is uh, 
uh, hardly three to four uh, steps here you are going to get the answer so using that uh, properties so you will get you are going to get uh, a projection of b on onto the column space of a so again uh, the last module uh, last module is again a very simple model you can solve first uh, module 4 and uh, module 5 then you can move on to module 1 2 3 since uh, module 1 2 3 is uh, one set of uh, variety of problems uh, uh, module 4 and uh, 5 is one set of uh, uh, variety of problem here so therefore i suggest you to solve first uh, four uh, module 4 and 5 then you can solve for uh, module 1 2 3 here uh, the question number 9a says that you should require to uh, for given the matrix a you require to find a determinant of a using pivots of a so then uh, they have given a sub question here by applying row operation uh, to produce upper triangular matrix u compute a determinant of a next uh, question number 9b find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a matrix a is very simple as you are studying from uh, uh, first semester of uh, b you can solve uh, eigenvalue and eigenvectors of uh, the given matrix factor of the matrix a into a is equal to a uh, x a x inverse uh, using a diagonalization and then find a cube of the given matrix uh, 2 cross 2 then uh, factorize uh, the matrix a into a which is equal to uh, u summation uh, v transpose using uh, svd for the given matrix called a the next problem is what is the po positive uh, definite matrix you are required to define what is the positive definite matrix mention the methods of testing positive de definiteness the following matrix for positive definiteness given s1 is equal to 5 6 uh, 6 7 find the orthogonal uh, matrix q uh, that diagonalizes uh, the following uh, symmetric matrix given uh, symmetric matrix you require to uh, verify that uh, uh, you require to find an orthogonal matrix called uh, q that diagonalizes uh, the given matrix called symmetric matrix so this carries six marks so this is the way of uh, asking the question this is the question paper pattern just uh, they have given the model question paper there in your video website you have a model question paper you can go through that question paper also so the similar way they will ask the problems so concentrate on all the concepts of uh, uh, whatever i have discussed now so you can score very well in this uh, subject thank you all for watching this video patiently